Later in Sweet Apple Acres, Applejack spoke to Granny Smith before meeting with Cricketina, who was leaning against a tree. All right, I've got the okay from Granny Smith. It's late, so I'll have you meet the whole family in the morning. The only thing we can do right now is give you some blankets and one of our spare hay beds from when we tried to host the axe. It was a big mess, but one managed to survive their stomping. It's fine. Despite not having much fur, I could be fine for now, said Crick and Tina as they walked the stars started to come out. You don't get upset very easily, do you? asked Applejack, who noticed it. I saw how you tried to warn the mare about Gaia's tail. I have plenty of discipline, so I don't easily lose my cool, said Crick and Tina, who could see Princess Luna's moon was about to rise. I'm not afraid to show emotion. It's just hard. My kind of kind value self-control above all else, but at the same time, we still care, so it's very complicated. Is that one of the reasons why you don't think you can teach all of us wild magic? Asked Applejack, who opens a door to the barn and lights a torch for Kirkatina to take a look around. With the whole aura thing? Auras make up what lies within one's soul. Applejack shows how much growth they have gone through in life and how much potential they have for many things, including new magic they have not tried before, said Cricketina, who sets up her blanket on a nearby spare hay bed before turning to Applejack. I can do some tests to see if any of you can change my mind, but like I said, it depends on what lies within one's heart. That's understandable. Well, I guess this is it, said Applejack, who heads to the door with the lamp. See you in the morning. We have breakfast very early, not too long after dawn, and you're free to join us. At that, Cricketina cracks a smile, as she said while looking a bit grateful. I think I will. See you then. Night, said Applejack, before closing the barred door. Applejack was just walking back with nothing but the lamp's light when she started hearing a lovely tune being whistled from the barn, which got her to look back before walking on with a smile on her heart. Tomorrow, then, to be continued.